All right. Um, welcome to you once again. Now we are looking at the last uh, four laws of uh, exponents, right? So the fifth law or law number five says that if I have an expression that is um, A divided by B into brackets raised to the power M, I can represent that as A raised to the power M divided by B raised to the power M, right? So I multiply each um, number that is inside my brackets, I raise it to the power M, right? So that I can get rid of the brackets, right? In an example, I just took the nine divided by three, all of, I'm um, nine divided by three, all of them raised to the power M, right? This can be represented as equal to nine to the power M, right? Each number, so the numerator, nine to the power M divided by, which is our denominator, 3 to the power m. So I raise everything to the power m. Now law 6 says to us that if I have the expression where I have a raised to the negative um, exponent m, I can represent that as a positive number. If I don't want to see negatives in my answers, I can represent that as a is as 1 divided by a, the same base, raised to the power positive m so that's just the inverse right um that's the inverse of that right so in an example five raised to the power negative two i don't want a negative in my answer i can represent as its inverse which is equal to one divided by five to the power two right so law six uh, can also be written in this uh, uh, reverse form right which is if i have one divided divided by any number a raised to a negative exponent right so i have a negative uh, powered um, number but it's also represented as an inverse so the inverse of an inverse will give you the real number right what you had uh, before the inverse that's quite confusing right but anyways that's what it means right so this can be represented as a raised to the power positive M, right so i got rid of the negative so looking at the example now if i have one divided by six to the power three which can be then represented as six to the power positive three so i got rid of the negative exponents by applying the inverse of the inverse right so the last law which is law number seven right is um talking about the sat form or the square roots of, of numbers, right? If I have a number a raised to the power m and into a nth root, right? Is the nth root. This can be represented as a raised to the power of m, m divided by n. Do not swap them around. Also, you might be um, tempted to swap these around. Do not swap them around. So it's always the number, um, it's always the power that's inside the, the root, right? It's always the number that's inside the root divided by the number that's outside the root there, right? So it's always equal to a, which is the base, raised to the power m divided by n. Let's look at this in terms of numbers, right? Now, if I have 4 raised to the power 2 into the cube root, into the third root, right, uh, like that, I can represent that as 4, which is my base, raised to the power, you always start with m, raised to the power 2 divided by n, which is equal to 3. Thank you. So that's all um, about the laws of expression, um, the laws of exponents. Um, I think in our next video, we'll take a couple of exercises and then uh, from there, we'll do maybe two, uh, two or three exercises and then we'll go to the next section where we are looking at uh, fractional exponents. Thank you for watching.